this is Sherry of What's News Neighbor. And this time I'm talking to my spouse, who is a neighbor here at Waveland Park Neighborhood Association. I'm a neighbor in good standing. Yeah. And so this week we're going to talk to him about uh, his uh, talent, his side business, his work as an artist. And so I'm going to ask him questions I already know the answer to, but... Um, Kind of give you some insight as to his background. So, David, what when did you first decide you were an artist? Oh, as a teenager, I, I was. I decided I was an artist. Um, I didn't know what it, where it would take me or what it meant, but yeah, I was an artist, and we have a lot of art in in my family. My grandfather and my great grandfather were painters, so it wasn't like it all came to me like, wow, what happened? So I just started getting really good in in high school, teenage years, and that's when I decided. When I when I went to Drake, I majored in painting and drawing. Right, and what year did you graduate from Drake, to give his age? <laughs> well, <clears throat> in the early 80s. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. We both graduated the same year from Drake. So anyway, yeah, I think it's kind of cool to um, have, a t have a, something you can do that you know you do well. I, I mean, not everybody experiences that. They, that they know that I'm good at this. I think that's that's really cool. Yeah. So anyway, so if you look all around, and then we'll give you a brief tour here in a minute, actually. We'll, we'll be kind of jiggly with the camera, but we'll take you on a quick tour of some of the work. Our, our house is covered in art, but um, which is great. Mm -hmm. But um, so, okay, you graduated from Drake, and then you went on to have a professional career that um, really didn't utilize your art. It, you went on to use other skills. Right. I, I worked in, in ma contract management for 25 years, mm -hmm. uh, which is a... A umbrella term for a lot of different things, uh, uh, different businesses across Des Moines, some hotels, and uh, I did my art on my own time, but yeah. I would maybe draw five, six hours a week if I was lucky, yeah, because I worked so many hours, uh, so that was no good. Right. Well, and then then the crash came. The uh, crash came in. It afforded us a, a new opportunity, and David an opportunity. You went back to. So I went back to Drake. Yeah. And um, got a master's in education, so I could teach art. Uh, also, uh, my endorsements were art as well as general education as well as special education, education, special ed. Right. And um, I was prepared to do any of those things. Mm -hmm. um, and wanted to work in Des Moines schools. And the first first year, boom, there was an art teacher opportunity at Edmonds Elementary. So I jumped on it. And so this will be my ninth year there at Edmonds. Yeah, and that's something. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's something. We So I remember we were sitting there, um, I, I think at Obama's inauguration, and we were yeah. at what? January of 2009. And we were 50 or circling. We were 50. getting to be, well, we were late 40s yeah. and always go over. <laughs> we were in our late 40s and I was not starting my classes yet. And there we are thinking, hey, here we are. I know. He was not even, he was going back to school, you know, and, and I was working part time and running my business. So, so. so that's good. So yes. I'm an art teacher. I do, uh, I teach art to uh, individuals. I've done students who are kids right. at, here at the house and adults. Yeah. And, and in fact, I just did my first sip painting, a sip and paint uh, session um, just this weekend uh, on Zoom. Yeah. Which, of course, I do a lot of my classes for Des Moines schools on right Zoom. Right now, yeah. So uh, I have about 16 classes at Edmonds. Six of them are online and the rest are in person. Actually, 18 classes. Yeah. Wow. Um, so the sip and paint thing went well. And. Mm -hmm. But uh, now, with my new career, new career, I still feel like it's new. Mm -hmm. um, I get to paint and draw 15, 20 hours a week. Right. And he did a whole series, and we're, I will take you on a quick show and show and tell here in just a minute, but he did a series of mask drawings of children and people in the community. Well, over really the cool. summer and into the fall, I did 75 drawings of people wearing their masks. Yeah, it was good. So it's it just good. kind of something that kept going. I kept snowballing. People said, oh, can I be on that? And I and some people I see him. I just say, let me take a picture. So it was uh, t about thirty students, and uh, the rest were uh, teachers and family and friends and some neighbors. So. Right, and 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 there and there currently there's a uh, display of them at Capital Chiropractic. Capital Capital Chiropractic. Yeah, and uh, which is a Waveland Park business mm -hmm. coming on Forty Second Street. Coming up to Forty Second. They're still. 
East Village right now, where that's where the, the, the art is. But. Yep. And then I have an exhibit going to be this summer with all of them, all the pieces, at um, the Great Frame Up in West Des Moines. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just it's just something I can't believe I did that many. It, they took forever to do. <laughs> and they're all done in dots. Do you want to look at that poster? Um, yeah, so, I'm gonna, I, I'm so, what's, so let me explain what's going to happen in the next few minutes. So I'm going to take you on a real quick tour. And then we will uh, segue, and David's going to give you an art lesson today for What's News Neighbor. He's going to show you how to draw your cartoon face. Okay. Which, in my case, is very easy. It's not a stretch. You have a, a cartoony face already. <laughs> so why don't we, I'm going to pick up the camera. It's going to be a little jostly. Uh, but let's do a quick tour of just well, a couple pieces. We're going to start with the student. Here's the poster of the students. Uh, I did one poster back. of them all. Yeah. So this is, uh, these are students at Edmonds. This is actually about 10% of the student body. Yeah. And I made a poster of that. I made other posters of all the other pieces. Yeah, coming close now so they can... Just zoom into... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. So just zoom to the in. top. There you go. Now you go down. Oh, the sound effects are special. Okay, extra. so they're all done in um, the stippling style. Uh, so when you look pretty close, you can see it's all dots. Everything is done in dots, which is one of my favorite ways to draw. I've got many ways. I don't even know if that shows. I think that shows. Okay, and then let's just show some. Some we'll give you a quick tour. Of okay, the so this is my la latest piece, which I'll be entering. I've already yeah, entered I in. Can um, see that without the. There you go. There'll be, there'll be some glare in there. Yeah, uh, I, I've like entered this piece in the uh, Heritage Gallery downtown, and I'm going to enter it at the Iowa State Fair. Yeah. This is a piece uh, about seven years oh, old. This one shows up really well. Yep, yeah, this is good. Um, I like to separate my, my, my planes. I like to make spaces. I use um, old images. This is a Da Vinci drawing of an artist. I use new images. I use yeah. images from my family. And then we'll just do one more. Let's, yeah. go, let's go around the corner. Uh, I don't know. Oh, in the flight. I don't so know. So let's do Cyrus let's here. Do Cyrus. My uh, grandson. No, over here. Uh, oh, Cyrus. Yeah. yeah. There's Cyrus, our grandson. That's my grandson when he was about a year and a half old. Okay. Now, you can go closer to that if you want, Sherry. That'll, well, it, that'll it, show pencil work. So yeah. pencil work is really my... My forte, I guess. Yeah. Although I've been successful with the stippling, but pencils, yeah. uh, charcoal. Okay, so that's, that's what I do. That's it. And we'll, we're, now we're, we're, we're going to segue to how, helping you draw your face. So get a piece of paper and a pencil handy, and we'll, David will show you how to do that. Well, whenever you draw anything, you want to start off with a, a light pencil sketch so you don't overcommit yourself. And with the cartoons, it's the same way. Now, drawing a cartoon of yourself. Uh, generally speaking, would start with an oval, and an oval then it gets developed into a face. I divide it into three equal parts. On the top line is going to be eyebrows and eyes. Between the two lines here is going to be a nose. And if I'm drawing a picture of myself, there's not enough nose in the world. So no worries there. And then below it is going to be a mouth. Now you've got a basic human figure here. Now, based on what your hairstyle is and what you're doing, you're going to erase part of this of the top there. And you're going to sharpen this line up a little if you feel it's a little thick. Give yourself a little bit of a chin. So you basically use the oval as a starting point. Now, when you do cartoons, the whole point is to exaggerate things. So, uh, in my case, I already have an exaggerated looking face, and it's not that hard to keep going. The um, light, uh, light <laughs> eyebrows and suspicious eyes, and this is all done lightly and progressively getting a little darker progressively and there's nothing wrong with going over and erasing something saying it just isn't right I'm going to do it again now this still could be just about anybody that has a big nose and suspicious eyes but now I'm going to make it very distinctly me for my cartoon I'm going to give myself a little bit of a mustache here a little bit of this a little cleft in the chin, uh, a big cleft in the chin. And I'm not worrying about too much detail with the pencil, just penciling it in, if you will. 
because I'm going to go over it with a Sharpie when I'm done. So, a little bit here, a little bit here. I think my cheeks need to be a little rounder here. Then, in my case, I still have my COVID haircut. And I have not had a haircut in a year. So things are looking rough. Things are looking rough. And I'm, I'm letting it flow. It's like in golf with a follow through. You gotta have a good follow through. Well, don't just draw lines that stop. Draw lines that say something. They have character. They have a little, a little bit of, I think character is the word. Now, in my case, I think one of the most important things are my nice big dark glasses. I, my Martin Scorsese glasses. When you reach a certain age, you're allowed to go back to wearing those big black glasses. And again, they could be darker and bigger, but I'm just getting them in there with the pencil. Got my little cleft, a little bit of a thing here. And this could be, this could be a BG uh, in his 60s. With the hair, a little bit of erasing, and wearing a sweater today. So, what's going to stay? None of it, because I'm going to start doing my Sharpie. And it is amazing. Sharpies are God's gift to cartoonists. I don't know any cartoonist or anyone who does cartoons that doesn't use a Sharpie. Now, if they're out there, please let me know. But a Sharpie is a great thing. And you actually don't just trace over your lines, you keep drawing. You're drawing the face again, but you're using your lines as a guide. And you decide to make the nose a little bigger and a little more of the worry lines. I'm going to pull the hair up a little bit more. I'm not going to start it quite so low. And there's a lot of ways in a cartoon to quickly identify something. So this is a little bit of a mustache and a goatee. Easy. A little bit of a smirk on the face, which my wife will agree with. Got to emphasize the cleft. And again, quickly identify a light beard. And it's hard to draw a beard with it's white, I guess. If I'm drawing a drawing, I'm taking several hours. Um, I would make all the hair white. But with a cartoon, it's black on white, so... And I think I need to have my eyebrow up here, raising up, my smirk a little bit more smirky, give me the appropriate age, age lines, disappear with the glasses. I hate it when we just have a head floating in space, you got to give it something to be on. I'll tell you, my better half also wants me to get a haircut, so this might be the last cartoon of me with the... Uh... Now, a little chunkier on the face. A little more lineage under the eyes. And you have a cartoon. You can add a little shadow on the neck, make it look a little bit more... Realistic. There's all sorts of cartoons. This is not a, a cartoon from Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck where I would actually really outline it and, and do more of a more damage. And of course, the most important thing is your signature. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look and see it. Let's hold it up to okay. you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> do I have the right smirk? I think so. You've gotten it. Okay. All right. So that's it. There's a thousand ways to do uh, uh, cartoons, drawings, art of all kinds. This is just a fun way to get going. Pencil first, 
uh, Sharpie next, and if we had the time, I would erase all the pencil marks, which of course will not smear due to the miracle of the Sharpie. Or is it Sharpie? I don't know, but thanks a lot, David. Thank you, and uh, howdy, neighbor. Yeah, what's news? Mm. I guess we've covered that. What's, what's news? What's news? What's news, neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> I think howdy I think howdy neighbor is better. It's too late. It's what's news. I think howdy neighbor. Okay.